Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I want to show you how to change the thank you message based on the language selected. This is really useful when you want to display the correct thank you message based on the language that the user selected on the form. Why is this important? Let's just say that the user selected German for the form. Well, you don't want to display to that user a thank you message in English. So you want to display it in German for them. So that's what we're going to accomplish on this video. So let me show you how this is done right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form. So let's go ahead and go to create a form, start from scratch, classic form. And let's go ahead and drag in a few elements that we might need for our form. Let's go into add form elements. And in this case, we'll drag in full name. We'll select the address, the email, and a quick short text. All right, in this text, form all right just a quick question there okay what do we have to do let's first go into settings we're gonna go show more options and we're going to select the form language in this case the form that we just built is originally in English so let's select English US and let's go ahead and edit the translations let's add our first form language so let's add form language we're going to select the form that we want to Translated to, for example, in this case, let's say Spanish, which is Espanol. Let's add form language. And in some cases, our form is already translated automatically by JotForm. So in this case, form is formulario. Previous is atrás, and it's already translated right here. So all the fields that we created are translated and some are not. For example, this was a custom field that we just added. Remember, we added this one. We said, do you like JotForm? We could say, te gusta form so we just translate it and it'll translate it automatically let's add another language so let's go to add translations let's add another form language and in this case we'll say for example German German from Germany add form language and in this case it's not auto translated so we can translate this obviously I don't speak German but if you if I would I would translate it here but for demo purposes, it's fine. So we have three languages available right now. So it's English, German, and Spanish. Let me show you what this looks like. Let's open it in a new tab. Okay, and on the top right corner, we have our language selector. Check this out. If I click on Spanish, it's displaying all the messages in Spanish. Remember, we translated this manually. It's all translated now. So what do we want to do right now? If we select Spanish and we fill out the form, the thank you page is going to display on in English. So it's not auto translated or auto displaying the thank you message based on the language selected. Now we have to use some conditional logic to accomplish this. So let's go into our form editor. Let's go into settings, conditions, and now we're going to select change thank you page. So in this section, we're going to use conditional logic. What does that mean? We're saying that if this happens, you're going to do this. So in this case, if the language is equal to, for example, Spanish, well, we want to display a different thank you message. So it's going to do in this case, we're going to display a custom message. All right, and now we're able to translate this on our own. So for example, it's gonna say muchas gracias, which is in Spanish. We can translate the rest, but for demo purposes, we're gonna keep it this way. So let's go ahead and save this conditional logic and let's add another one. So again, thank you page, and again, conditional logic. So if the language is equal to German, we're going to display a different thank you message. So let's translate German really quickly. So let's say thank you. And this would be the translation for German. So let's just change this really quickly. OK, there we go. So now we have the German one. Let's go ahead and save it. And language for English should be displayed automatically. Let's go ahead and test this out. Let's go into publish. Open in a new tab and let's go ahead and type this in right now. It's all right. It's set in Spanish. So let's fill it out really quickly. 
and let's go ahead and send it out. We should be getting that thank you message in Spanish. So let's go ahead and send. And there we go. It's displaying in Spanish. Let's test it out again. Let's close this one. Let's open it again. And in this case, we're going to select German. So again, let me fill it out really quickly. Okay, now let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. It's displaying the thank you message in German. Okay, and finally, let's go ahead and test it in English just to make sure everything's okay. Really quickly, let me fill it out. And let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. It's displaying in, in English. Based on conditional logic, we're able to accomplish this. Now, if you wanted to add more languages, again, we go into our settings, show more options. We need to add more translations so we have those languages available. For example, in this case, if you wanted to say, um, I don't know, Chinese, let's add that form language. And some of them are already translated. We're good, all right? And then we go into conditional logic because now we've added that language. That means that when we publish this form, it's gonna also have available the Chinese language. So let's add that conditional logic. Thank you, Paige. And again, if this happens, it's gonna equal to Chinese. Then it's gonna display thank you in Chinese. Let's go ahead and translate it really quickly. Okay, let's add our translation right there. Let's save it. And now we'll display the Chinese thank you message. So if you go to publish, open a new tab. Okay, here's our form. We have our languages available on the top right. Let's select it. And now we have available Chinese. So now we're able to display that thank you message if someone selects Chinese. So let me go ahead and fill it out really quickly. Let's submit it. And now we have the thank you message in Chinese. This is really useful when you want to display the correct thank you message based on the language selected. Now, just like you saw in this video demo, you can add as many languages as needed and translate them so the user receives that thank you message based on their language, giving it a more personal touch to your forms. Well, that is how you display your thank you message based on the language selected. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.